Hi loves! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my gorgeous mom. Hi beautiful people. And I am finally going to be doing her makeup today. I am super excited so make sure you guys grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it and have some girl time. Alright my friends, starting off with the hydrating under eye patches from Rare Beauty. These feel amazing on the under eyes. I love them before I start my makeup and my mom loved them too because they're super cooling and refreshing. I usually get them directly on Rare Beauty's website and they are so worth it. Then for brows, I went in with the Dominique Brow Frame first. I actually didn't end up using Cool Deep Brown. I used Taupe because it was a little bit softer. My mom got her brows microbladed about two years ago. She hasn't touched them up or anything ever since. So they're a little bit faded, so I pretty much just followed her natural brow shape, filled them in, cleaned them up, fluffed them up, and I did my exact brow routine on her, and she loved it. So this is a really great pencil. You guys know I've been obsessed with it ever since I started using it. It is amazing. Another product I've been loving for my brows is the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint Stick. I used the shade 8 to carve out my brows, and on my mom, I ended up using shade 10, and it worked out so beautifully. I also used this to prime her lids, and this is super creamy. It's not too thick, but it's thick enough to the point where it is perfect for cleaning up your brows. It is such a nice formula. And of course, I used the Rare Beauty Brow Gel, which is so good and really keeps your brows in place all day. My mom wanted something really neutral, so I used the Major Dimensions 3 palette from Patrick Ta. It is such a buttery, smooth formula and a very versatile palette. I have been loving it. I know it's pricey, but if you love neutrals and you don't have a lot of neutrals or you just want a good go-to neutral palette, this one is it. I love that it's all matte. I love the warm and cool tones. So I kind of just used a little mixture of both and I did something really simple with a little bit of glitter. And I have to make the disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. I am not a professional. This was truly just for fun. Once upon a time, I used to want to be a makeup artist, but then the more that I was doing makeup on people, and this was years ago, like when I was still in high school, I was a baby. I just didn't really find it as enjoyable as I did doing it on myself. And I definitely think I do better makeup on myself versus other people. And I find the process to be a bit more enjoyable. But doing my mom's makeup this time was actually really therapeutic and I did enjoy it. So I'm not opposed to maybe one day being a makeup artist, but I definitely need lots of practice and I would want to get certified and all that. So maybe that's a future journey, but for now, I definitely enjoy reviewing makeup and just doing everything on myself the most. But for my mom, of course, I would always be down. And if you guys want to see more makeup on my mom, definitely let me know and we can do that for you guys. This is just a little starter video. My mom doesn't actually love being on camera, so this was a big deal. That's why this first video is going to be voiceover, but we can definitely do more. If you guys are interested, let me know. But I went in with the Makeup by Mario glitters, which are really nice because they are fine and they're not super intense, but they are buildable. They give such a pretty sparkly touch without being too too much you know so if you want some glitter but you want to keep it light and cute those are a really nice option rare beauty mascara of course i had my mom do this so that i don't poke her eye out and then i used the aoa studio lashes in the style scarlet my mom actually gets really sensitive to lash glue but this one from kiss worked out really nicely for her and she had no issues and then i primed with the milk makeup pore eclipse primer i would say her skin types are super similar she has more combo skin it gets more dry in the winter and oily in the summer but my mom's skin is gorgeous and one of her favorite foundations is the Too faced born this way she needs to get a better color match though because i was trying to make it work with what i have so I used a little bit of this Bosma foundation stick. It was a little bit too light. I feel like we have to get the undertone a bit better. And I definitely should have used more bronzer, which you guys will see. But I do really enjoy actually both of these foundations. The Too Faced Born This Way is just a gorgeous kind of staple. It has a nice natural finish, great coverage, really good lasting power, and it's just really pretty. And then the Bosma foundation stick, it's actually a very hydrating foundation stick. So if you find foundation sticks to be a little bit thicker, more dry and cakey, try out this one from Bosma. It's really nice and creamy, has great coverage, it can be buildable. So what I ended up doing was just adding some of the Bosma foundation stick over the Too Faced foundation to kind of make the shade work, but she definitely needs something a little bit better. We'll have to go to Old Tar Sephora to get a good color match, but she loves this Fresh Flex concealer. It was actually super creamy. I think I tried this before and it did have nice coverage as well. I like the formula of it, it was super easy to blend. 
and I just used, of course, my Anissa Beauty Angled Concealer Brush. Looking back at this video, I feel like I want to keep doing my mom's makeup and just practicing practice and just perfect it because I feel like I can do so much better. But I, like I said, I'm a little rusty because it's been a minute since I've done someone else's makeup and it's so different compared to me doing it on my own. But I used the Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder. Fun fact, my mom is actually not a big fan of loose powder. She prefers all pressed powder. So I used that on her under eyes and a little bit of this all nighter waterproof setting powder. She actually really likes this to set her makeup. So I just dusted a little bit of that to set the rest of her makeup. I really wish I would have used a cream bronzer. I feel like that would have brought everything together so much more, added some more dimension and definitely would have helped with the foundation match. But I did add some of this Fenty Beauty bronzer palette, which I love. I got this last year and I love Fenty Beauty bronzers. They're so buttery and smooth. Now, a couple fun facts about my mom. Her birthday was just on October 23rd. She is 100% Guatemalan and one of the many names that I call my mom, I don't know why, it started in high school and it just stuck ever since, but I call her Doll. I don't know why. I think it's so cute though, because she's literally my bestie, my doll. And sometimes I call her Doll more than I call her mom, but she's really my doll and my everything. And I'm just so grateful to have my mom because she is the best role model and she's taught me so many great things in life. By the way, this blush combo was everything on her skin tone. It looked absolutely gorgeous. If you love a glowy orangey cheek, try this out. Juvia's Place, I think it was the volume five or volume six blush duo with Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. It gave the most gorgeous orangey cheek. But some of my favorite things that my mom has taught me is just to always be humble, to work hard and to put God first. And I'm still learning so much from her every day. She has gotten me closer to God and I just owe my mom my life and the entire world. I wanna give it to her truly because she deserves it. And yeah, this was just super fun to be honest. Like I said, I feel like I wanna keep practicing and doing more makeup on her. So let me know if this is something you guys would be interested in. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you want more videos with me and my mom. So since she had a gorgeous warm cheek, I wanted to bring out more of those warm tones with her eyes. So I just added a couple of those shades in the crease and then I used this Milk Makeup Limitless Bronzer. Or just kidding, this is not a bronzer. This is a long wear eyeliner. She applied that and then I just kind of cleaned up a little bit on her under eyes and just did a little bit more powder and I added the House Labs Bio Radiant Gel Highlighter in Sunstone for a gorgeous glow. This is super smooth. It doesn't accentuate a lot of texture and it just has a really nice buttery formula. So I did a little bit of that because my mama loves her glowy skin. And then I did one of my favorite lip combos on my mom and it looked beautiful. Kind Words Lip Liner from Rare Beauty in the shade Wise. And then I topped it off with the Milani Color Fetish Lipstick in the shade Tease. My mom loves these lipsticks, but she's never used this color and it looked so good on her. And no look is complete without some settings spray so I used the LYS natural finish spray and I feel like this did such a nice job at just melting in all of the makeup and making it look so much better so that is officially it shout out to my mom for filming this video with me gracias mama te quiero muchísimo eres la mejor mama del mundo and thank you guys for all your love and support again thumbs this video up if you want to see more videos with my mom share comment subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon in my next one bye